Hi, and welcome to this video on designing a menu button with Figma. In this video, we'll design the basic states of the menu button, like default states, hover it, focus it, and press it. And then we will transform that menu button into an interactive component. Let's get started. Before we jump into this tutorial, let me tell you about Master UI Plus. It's the ultimate Figma design system with over 200 interactive components. You can create amazing user interfaces in no time. Just drag and drop to get fully interactive components in your prototypes. And the best part, you can get 40% off if you click the link in the description. All right, let's get back to our tutorial. Let's start by creating a new design file and give it a name of menu button. And then let's go to our frame tool and let's show a frame of 40 by 40. And let's give it a border radius of 25. All right. Next, let's go to the fill section and let's give it a dark gray color. All right. Zoom back. Now, let's go to our resource button and go to plugins. Let's pick Iconify. And here, let's type in hamburger icon. Let's pick one. I'm going to pick this bold icon, select the icon and hit import icon. All right, this is our icon, it should be 24 by 24. Now change its color in the selected color to white color and then click and drag it inside our frame. Make sure it's center vertical and horizontal. Now let's go to auto layout and Auto layout center. All right, change its name to default. Next, on this to component and create new variants. All right, let me lay out this horizontally. All right, give it some space to the other state. So this will be our hover state, but first change the property, select the frame of our components and let's go to property one and edit property. And let's rename it to states. The first one will be the default state and the second one should be hovered state. Now let's go to the fill section and let's transform when hovered, change the color to a blue color, maybe a darker blue. All right, let's create another variant and rename its property variants to focus it and change its background color to a darker one. And maybe we should add a drop shadow effect to our hovered states. All right, let's add our preset state. And in this state, we'll change our icon to a close icon. Let's go back to our Iconify plugin. Type in close. Let's pick this close icon. Click and drag. Then drag it inside state. Let's remove the first icon. And then in selected color, let's change the color of the icon to white. Now let's go to the prototype tool and start by connecting the first default state to hover it and in the action select while hovering and make sure it is smart animate. Next connect the hover it to focus it and while pressing make sure it is smart animate. And the last one from focus to pressed and this is on click smart animate. And then, of course, when we click again on the closet, we will be back to the default states. And let's keep it on, on click. Now, to see the final result, let's create 
new frame go to asset click and drag our component now select the frame and hit the play button here we go our component is fully interactive right when we hover change the color when we press it will be darker and when we click the close icon click again it will be back to the default state all right that was everything about creating an interactive menu button thanks for joining me for this tutorial you can find the download link to the exercise file of this tutorial in the description down below and if you are looking for more interactive components then you should check out master ui plots everything you need will be at your fingertips when it comes to interactive components and this will make your design process faster and more efficient and one last thing don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video